it's kind of nice that humanity has a solar system wide presence. Right. You know, right. Where even though Earth is in a crappy part of its orbit and right. we're kind of handcuffed in that way, we can still we, we can still get that data from other parts because because we have this presence that's so big. This is that's kind of cool. It's really cool. It's why both <laughs> near and deep space matter quite a bit. And a very popular science story that yeah. has been all over the headlines. That's right. Um, about 3i Atlas. It's moving really fast, 61 kilometers per second, mm -hmm. um, all the way out in Jupiter. Yep. Okay. And if it's moving that fast all the way out there, that means it's not going to stay inside the solar system. Right. You can do the Newton's laws and do the calculation. It'll go right past the sun and then on, on its way. Mm -hmm. Now, the, um, the, the problem is when this thing gets close to us, we're going to be on the other side of the sun. Right. Because so it's coming in. We're on, you know, like so the front side of the sun right now yeah. and it's coming in towards us. But we're going to be yeah, orbiting. But, yeah. and we'll be here. It'll still be coming this direction and we'll be blocked by the sun. By the sun, right? It's like during, like, if you wanted to see it, it would be during daytime behind the sun. Yep. Right. We're trying to observe this thing as much as possible. Right. So that's where the European Space Agency and, and this new stuff is coming in. Right. Where the, the European Space Agency has a bunch of orbiters mm -hmm. around uh, Mars mm -hmm. that they're like, OK, we're going to yeah. we're going to repurpose they're for this. One of them perfect. is um, the Mars Express and the other one is the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. Mm -hmm. Both of these. Both of these things have cameras that are pretty good. This thing is still going to be pretty far away from Mars, but you know, getting any sort of anything. getting anything when it's on the other side of the sun and we can't put anything there and it's going to be the most volatile when it's on the other side of the sun. So getting any data at that point of its orbit right. of its tra trajectory, I should say not orbit because it's not orbiting yep. um, is going to be incredibly valuable. And the guys at the ESA are definitely tempering everyone's expectations. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, guys, it's going to be far away. Like our stuff wasn't designed for this. It's like, okay, dude, like no one's going to blame you if you get shit data, like just get whatever you can. Right. 100%.